Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Roberts Recap. As a reminder, this is where the core executive team and I bring you three of the most salient agenda items from our most recent board meeting, just in case you missed it. As always, we started this each board meeting with a celebration of our students and what a celebration we had. Our cheerleading team, under the watchful eyes and tutelage of Coach Dina Probonik and her staff, were back-to-back -back state champions in 2021 and 2022. And last Monday, they returned back to Mill Creek Township from Disney, Orlando, where they participated in the national championship. And yes, in the game day cheer section, they are now the best in the country. Congratulations, Coach Dina, your coaching staff, and our national championship cheerleading team. We are so proud of you. The second agenda item I wanted to recap for you today is that last week on February 15th, we shared with you a letter that talked about the fact that we were considering pausing our before and aftercare program. We brought this recommendation to the board. And yes, since that time, we've gotten a number of letters, much feedback and healthy conversations about the impact that this decision will likely have on our stakeholders. As always, we want to make sure that we are grounding these mission critical decisions in as much data as possible. As a result, I have asked the board to delay the vote so that we can continue to look at other options to make sure that we are supporting our students and our families. Stay tuned, we will keep you updated. And finally, at the last board meeting, we had a presentation of our survey. You may recall that in December of last year, in partnership with a national organization, we administered a survey to all of our teammates, students, and our parents. And the survey was one that is anonymous. We received the results, we analyzed and interpreted those results, and at the last community of the whole meeting, we presented the data. There are many highlights, and you can find those on our website. What I wanna share with you, some of the highlights included for our K-5 students, primarily students in grades three through five, 90% of them share that they have supportive relationships in their schools. And 86% of them said that they have positive feelings about school. One of the highlights, but we still have many areas of growth. The Roberts recap, three agenda items in three minutes or less. See you next time.